Brenda, Thelma, and Nana Ejikum star in Royal Rules of Ohio coming to Freeform and Hulu on May 15th. Thank you all so much for your time today. Thank you yes. for inviting us. <laughs> so the show gives us an inside look in into your lives. Tell us a little bit about living in Columbus, Ohio. When did you move there? And tell me a little bit about, about life in that city. Living in Columbus, Ohio is so amazing because it's a fast growing economy. And on top of that, there's so much you can do. You can go to the short north and that basically has like everything from like the rooftops to the paint and sips to just the local bars. So it's fun. And on top of that, when you're living in Columbus in your 20s, that's like the perfect combination because yeah. you can just socialize. And on top of that, we have the Intel building coming in 2025. So True. people are going to be moving to Columbus, Ohio. Just watch. <laughs> we're just we're going to keep watching. You said socializing, and one of the things that we get to see as far as, far as the show is your parents having a say so in the way that the three of you are, are socializing. Let's talk a little bit about that and that aspect of the of the series. Yes, my parents are a bit <laughs> of helicopter parents, but in the Ghanaian yeah. culture, they feel like they can impose the quote rules on their children, which is valid, they can, because the rules are very important. And the rules that they have instilled in us when we were younger have kind of shaped us to who we are today. So we don't get too upset about it. It's just that now that we're in our 20s, mm -hmm. we want to make our own rules and follow our own path. And it's a little difficult to do so. <laughs> At what age did you start to realize the impact of how, you know, maybe some of the responsibilities or the traditions that your family had as far as maybe, you know, your parents' generation and where, where they're from, and then also the Americanized version, you know, that the three of you are also living in, uh, in Ohio. That's a good question. I mean, we actually learn so young. I mean, especially because of, for example, like if you serve with your left hand, that's actually a taboo. You can't do that because mm -hmm. if you do that, it's a sign of disrespect. Yeah. And, you know, our dad and mom, like they were literally like, please don't do that. That's disrespectful. So please make sure you always serve with your right hand. So we learn very young and Right now, we're still we're still learning. <laughs> still, yeah. learning. Yeah. Yeah. still learning. So many rules to follow. <laughs> Who was having a harder time, kind of in this period of your life? You know, in the twenty, is it your parents, or is it the, the three of you kind of de dealing with them? Like, what are we going to see as far as like, is it a kind of 50-50 as far as who's Ooh. kind of struggling the most? Yeah, I would say it's 50 50 with who's struggling because yeah. even though they impose these rules upon us. We still live our lives mm -hmm. and then they find out about what we're doing and then we have a family meeting about it, but we're still living our lives. That does not change. So, you know, it's about finding our own path and doing what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit. The house is, is beautiful. It's incredible. Talk a little bit about maybe your, your, your friends coming over when people get to see that for the first time, get to drive up their driveway and are like, wow, this is an incredible place to live. Yes. Yeah, so when new people come to our house, it's always kind of cool to see their reactions because it's very grand. <laughs> They're yeah. like, oh, my goodness, kind of looking around. But to us, it's just my parents kind of came from nothing. And so when they came to America, they, they kind of pursued that American dream, really working hard. Yes. And they built this house um, with an architect as well. So this is kind of their dream home. So it's really great to see people's reactions. But we also on the back end, remember our parents and where they come from and how they kind of created this life for themselves. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about maybe the, the first episode. What can we expect as far as maybe some of the storylines and you know what's going to get us hooked on the series? Yeah, so I can't give away too much, but I can say that you will see, first of all, Black Excellence. Shout out to Brenda because she graduated <laughs> college in three years with honors. Okay, <laughs> that is Amazing. a huge deal. And then second, you're definitely going to see like our dynamic and introduction of us, you know, Nana, myself and Brenda, and of course our beautiful parents and the unsees. There's a graduation party there. Yes. yes. You can't too much. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm saying too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, as far as going back to, to Ghana, I have a lot of friends who, you know, go back there for to visit family and they don't go for like a week. I mean, they try to go there for as, you know, as many times or maybe like a month or as much as they can go. Um, mm -hmm. When was the last time that the three of you were there and maybe any upcoming uh, plans? The last time we were in Ghana was in 2019, but we are planning on going this winter, actually. This winter yes. break. Yes. Yeah. Because Very Ghana exciting. in December is the best time. Best. People from all around the world fly to Ghana just to be there. 
I mean, any place is better than the Midwest in the winter, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but talk a little bit about your parents' reaction, especially filming this series and, you know, what it was like to have the cameras in the house and following them through some of these things that might be a little bit personal to them. But, you know, talk a little bit about their reaction. I would say my parents were more excited to film yeah. <laughs> than we initially were. Yeah. <laughs> they are just so excited to show everyone our culture. And it took, for me personally, it took me a while to kind of get on board. But when mm -hmm. we started filming, I had so much fun with my sisters, with my friends, and with my parents. And I feel like the culture is definitely in there. It's going to be shown and people are going to learn something new. Yeah. Uh, the, the series is premiering on Freeform on, on May 15th. Are you having a a big watch party at the house? Are you going out somewhere uh, to watch it? It's going to be streaming on Hulu as well, too. Like, what is your big plans for the uh, for the premiere? I think, honestly, we, we're we trying to, what, maybe I do we a watch party. We might do a watch party. We haven't decided yet because everything's up in the air right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to figure that out. Yes, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you all so much for your time today. Royal Rules of Ohio on Freeform May 15th and then streaming the next day on Hulu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.